In this video we're going to look at Stair Designer's libraries and manufacturing methods. Let's go over to the libraries menu and click on the first option materials. So here we've got listed some pre-configured materials you can use. You can set any up you want yourself as well. If I just click on this top one, ash, you can input a price and a weight and below alter the appearance of the material as it shows in the 3D presentations. Let's close that for now. Go back to the libraries menu. We've got two specialist libraries, curves and shapings here. These are used, for example, to apply a pre-configured shape to a step. What I want to focus on today, though, is the manufacturing methods and the sub-methods. So each sub-method is like a style sheet that defines how you like and want to build your staircase. You can define how you want your material set up, the steps, string boards, handrails, cut strings, the newel posts and the links, which are the joints between the stair parts. If I click into manufacturing methods and click on the top one, we can see that a manufacturing method is simply a collection of each of those sub-methods, the one we decide we want to put into this overall manufacturing method. So we want oak as the material sub-method for steps, default, string boards, this particular setup for string boards. So when you apply the manufacturing method, all of these sub-methods are applied at once. To show you a couple of simple changes we can make to the staircase, let's just go and alter an individual sub-method one at a time. So if I go back to libraries, sub-methods, let's change the material. And if I go down to this mahogany oak white, click apply, and we can see that all the materials have been changed according to that sub-method. Or we could apply this ash, black and white option, click apply, and we can see those changes again have been applied. Let's just show you one other sub-method for now. Let's go into steps. So these codes, let's click on this one, represent the parameters that have been combined into this sub-method. They're shown here. So in this case, R-0 means we've got no risers. Uh, the step thickness is 30 mil and the nosing is 30 millimeters as well. So if I click apply, we can see quickly that those risers have disappeared. I click OK and zoom in a bit. And let's pick one final sub method. Let's go into steps again. Move this slightly out of the way and pick the 5030 again with no risers. So the thickness of the steps is 50 millimeters now. Click apply and we can see that they've all been increased by that up to that thickness of 50 millimeters. So you can see that using libraries and manufacturing methods allows you to set up your exact preferences for how you want to build your staircase. You don't have to input them every time. And also it's very quick to apply those preferences when you need to. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.